Hello Leo, welcome to your monthly video for what we need to know about. This video is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope you are all doing well, doing great. I've already pre-shuffled the cards and laid out the spread and the deck that I'll be using is called the Fairy Tale Tarot Deck by Baba Studios. Okay, let's dive right in, Leo. The overall energy surrounding you have the two of coins with the hangman. So your focus this month, Leo, is balance, 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 looking at different ways to maintain balance, to achieve balance, um, looking at how to bring about changes, looking at ways to stay unstuck or get out of being stuck. So the focus for you, Leo, is balance, 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 and change. How you see yourselves, Leo, is you have the Queen of Swords with the Sun. You have the Queen of Swords with the Sun. You are being clever. You're coming up with some bright ideas. You are being logical. You're being truthful. You're not putting up with any bullshit from anybody. You may also be the person bringing things to light so that you can bring it into problematic situations or issues that could be trying to come up. I also feel like something could be coming to light that you are going to take a look at and see what you need to do or how you can handle the situation to bring about change or to, to balance it with the sun card here as your clarifier. I also feel like some of you um, may be in your ego. You are detaching yourself from emotions and you coming off really cold and distant to others. But I feel like it's for the sake of you wanting to achieve this balance and to not be stuck in any situation, especially in anybody else's situation. It's like you got to focus on, you're focusing on yourself and maintaining the balance that you need to have happen in your world and with you. The reason why you are the Queen of Swords, Leo, is that you have the Page of Coins with the Emperor. So this is the root cause of the situation. This Page of Swords with the Emperor energy. So you are looking at finding new ways to control the situation. A situation that you may have watched someone else work on. Um or others work on and they're not they're not managing it at all forget about managing it well they're not managing it all so you have decided that you need to take up the matter for yourself and deal with it because you don't like how it's being managed or, or um, the results that are, are happening here in a situation um, you taking control of the situation, um, others may feel that you are over controlling, that you are being cold um, that, and um, calculating and you're not concerned with anybody's feelings and what you feel needs to happen here. You're just going to take over, take it over and do what you need to do because you don't like what's happening. You feel like somebody has uh, <laughs> fell, fell asleep on the situation. That's just not going to work for you. So you're going to take care of it and you're being looked at like, wow, you just took that and you're going to do it. Okay. Um, did see that coming, but yeah, that's what you're going to do here, Leo. You, 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 somebody is not handling something the way you think needs to be handled. They are causing the situation to become stuck and that is not what you need right now. That's, you don't need that right now. In fact, let's just go back to that overall energy because what I want to point out is in that two of coin and the hangman is the clarifier. If you take a look, you have the hangman here, right? But all over here, off into the distance in that doorway, you see another man that's kind of hanging just like this hangman here. So I feel like there's some thing, some door of opportunity you want to walk through. Or you're trying to get through and someone is beginning to block it because they're not managing the opportunity or the situation so that you can walk through that door of opportunity so that you can see the situation change and not become stuck. And so with that page of coins and the emperor, you're just going to do it yourself. 
because you see how this can actually turn, how well this can turn out. And you realize you're going to have to not take a position of not looking at it or just sleeping on the matter. You're just going to, you're going to come up out of that and just take control of the situation and do it yourself. Because if you do it, you will see the bounty, the rewards, the blessings, the balance, the change that is supposed to come from it. In your recent past, you have the Eight of Coins and the Page of Wands. So you already, with this energy in the recent past, you've been really hard at work um, trying to create a new path for yourself. You may have been trying to start a new business. Um, you may have just want to see some changes in your world that ha has required a lot of your energy and effort to do. And um, you are you having some trouble you know, with what you were trying to manifest or change or do in the recent past. And so you may have needed a little help to be able to move out of any difficulties and manifest the changes that you want. But you also have been needing to pay attention to detail as you try to go in this new direction. You also may have been working on the behalf of others and you may have been being watched or spied upon and you may have either realized that and so you've decided to work harder and be more efficient. Um, and this is a new action on your part because um, it's probably just slightly challenging for you to step up your game. But, you know, it's in you. You can do it. And so you did. It's in the past now. It's over. Now, where you are when it comes to the energy, you have the Six of Wands and the King of Coins. So... Whatever you've been doing in the recent past is paying off. You are seeing the recognition. Okay. You're being seen as someone who has the Midas touch. Everything you touch, you can create what you want for yourself and for others. So you have the victory. People see your worth here. For some of you, not so much. Um, it may still be a challenge to be recognized for your efforts and for what you've been able to do and create. And you also could be could have been struggling, some of you, with um, how to manage something and move away from any strife or challenges or conflict so that you could have the victory. But like I said, for many of you, many of you, you will and you are going to see the victory because of all the hard work you have done in implementing new ideas and new courses of action and new steps that you've taken to manifest something new because you chose to take control of it. You chose to manage it or manage it better. Now, influencing the Six of Wands energy is that you have the Ten of Cups with the Six of Cups. This is the influence on that Six of Wands, that victory. And so with this being influence, you have, you are able to reconcile some situations or differences you have found emotional satisfaction. You are satisfied with your efforts, your actions. Also are driven and motivated because of your family and you wanting to make sure that your family is taken care of and that they have um, balanced living through the work, the hard work you're putting in to make, make sure they have a happy home and living standards. Some of you, you have victory over something from the past, over uh, someone you know from the past that may have popped back up, and um, you now are realizing that you have the victory in the situation because you will maturely, you maturely handle your interaction, or you will be maturely handling your interaction with this person, where you come to realize that all that hard work you put into letting them go, you realize now you will be realizing now that you are healed and you have reconciled with yourself about that person. Or maybe you reconciled with that person from the past where now you are satisfied and you're, you are moved on that you've moved on. It's on your mind. No, you have the queen of coins with the knight of swords. So you have been, What's been on your mind is you have been looking to be practical and methodical in 
how you take action with things, how you approach a situation, how you are communicating with others because you want a desired result. And it looks like you are getting it. Most of you are creating and manifesting what you need in your world. You are taking care of everything that is important to you that needs to be taken care of because you are communicating. You're not being too hasty in your communication and your actions, but you're taking actions that are with the Queen of Swords, clever, logical. There you have strength of coins. So this is you being determined to continue to maintain balance and stability in your world and with others, Leo. I feel like this is more of a focus of you maintaining balance within yourself. I feel like that you are drawing the line, creating boundaries within your relationships with others. I feel like you have been pulled upon in different directions by others for your help and your ability to analyze things and be practical and give sound solutions and suggestions in other people's situations and circumstances to improve things for them. But I think that you are now seeing or trying to maintain a balance in your give and take because in, you've been giving too much in your relationships or situations and you realize that you have to have some some that energy, some of that drive left for you. And I feel like that you are actually successfully maintaining that strength of balance, but also being strong in just having creating balance in your world, juggling things, bringing about changes that bring balance and stability for you and for your loved ones. How you're being seen, you have the seven of wands with the nine of cups of you, you've been standing your ground, rising to the challenge and pursuing your wishes and dreams and seeing them. For some of you, you have been on guard. You have decided that you need to protect your feelings and emotions because you're giving too much of yourself to others. And there's an imbalance of give and take. And so because of that, you being the queen of swords, you may be being looked at as somebody who's being cold and distant, who's being cruel who's being mean because they're not used to this uh, side of you that you're growing about yourself, that you need to grow about yourself because if you don't, you'll be depleted of your energy um, because you are being pulled by people, um, quite a few people in different directions to help them out. And I don't feel like you mind being of help, but you're realizing how that there is an imbalance here for you. And you're not seeing that give and take. And I really don't feel like you need anyone to give back to you in terms of you needing help. I think that you're balancing your world just fine. And so you're good at that. I think that you are noticing that people aren't mindful of your energy and in, in that you have a right to have some time to yourself. And that you need to be able to recharge your own batteries and have your own um, happiness happen for you and so um i see some people see you as really guarding that um but they are mistaking you for someone who's just um being selfish when really the other ones this greedy <laughs> um, some of you are you are enjoying Taking your drive and strength to enforce balance in your world as it has to do with your situations and others. And I feel like this is something you didn't always do was, you know, make sure you drew the line, created boundaries. And um, now that you are actually doing that, you like feels to create, a, you know, to create boundaries and make sure people don't cross the line with you because you feel better. Emotions, Leo, you have the five of coins with the star. So I feel like many of you are healing and recovering from feeling like you've been out in the cold, from feeling any lack. If you have been, haven't been feeling well, you're recovering from that. If you've been having troubles with money, you're recovering from that. If there have been problems in your relationships, you're recovering from that. 
Um, you're making changes for the better for yourself. And this is your hope. This is your expectation. This is how you've been feeling. For some of you, this is your fear that you're worried about not being able to recover, to, be, to recover and heal circumstances and situations going on in your world. Some of you are, are worried about and fearing that um, you are going to be left out in the cold by others and because you're they're not healing in the situation or the situation isn't getting healed or the relationship isn't getting healed. So that's a fear. And you're worried about lack. Some of you are worried that you're going to be experiencing lack or or that you're not going to come out from a place of lack and not be able to heal that situation. But remember, this is in your feelings. So change how you feel. Change how you feel. Look at things from the positive. You you definitely seem to have the ability to balance and juggle things. People are coming to you for answers that are, and they're coming to you for answers because what you think works. So just believe that what you're thinking that you need to do in your world is working for you too. And um, fuck fear. Right? No, isn't it? But, you know, you got to figure out how to press past fear somehow, right? Well, I say fuck fear. So if that works, please use it. If not, find your way, but get past fear. Okay? I'm worried. You're out, Leo. It's beautiful. You have the four of coins with the four of wands. You are going to establish some harmony. You're going to have successful completions in your projects, in the things that are important to you, the things that you're working on. Also, even in your relationships, you're going to have stability with that four of pentacles. Okay. Now, for a small percentage of you, you are going to feel a little stuck financially. You are going to feel a little stuck. Um, in your situation, circumstances, and even as it has to do with relationships, because it just hasn't harmonized yet. It hasn't come together well yet, but it's, but it will, I'd want you to know it will. Okay. Just, it may not quite show itself, but definitely, um, you would, you would have to keep working on it. Don't give up working on what you're doing to maintain that stability and security for yourself and to see that harmony and successful completions because your ships will come in. Your ships will come in. Why do I say that? I pulled another clarifying card and you have the three of wands. Okay. About your plans being put into action, but that your ships are coming in. The things that you've implemented, you're now seeing signs of it um, progressing and being successful for you. Leo, this is very the one of the best readings. So thank you. I had the pleasure of you know enjoying this energy with you. Thank you for being here. Please, if you like this video and it resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, and I thank you for your time. And if you have any comments, please list them. And um, I would love to hear from you. Thank you. And until next time, take care. Bye.